So whose report are you going to believe? Are we going to believe the report of the Lord? Now here is God that told him what. But he, right then, he wanted to know when. Because he said, I don't see no wings right now. <laughs> so what do I believe you or not? Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. See, some of us don't have enough focus on God to believe what he said to move out on what he said. We're still pondering and trying to get a confirmation from my prayer partner. You don't need no confirmation from your prayer partner. You need to move out on what God said to you. I don't need nobody to pray about it with me. No, no, first you need to receive it for yourself. And so when God says something to you, amen, and you want transformation and you want change, you have to move out on it immediately. You can't sit around doubting, trying to get confirmation over here, confirmation over there. No, God said it and that settles it. How I many know there needs to be an eating process if you want change in your body? If you want change in your spirit, you got to begin to eat the word of God. See, you got to begin to eat. And some of us ain't eating that word and we're trying to figure out what's happening to me. God, I don't know where you at. Well, you ain't eating. Amen. How I many know when you slow to believe, amen, you're doubting. Amen. You, you're killing the word. Amen. You, you, you got to receive that thing instantly. Let it be no doubt. And I'm not moved by what I see because I don't see my wings yet. But he don't see his wings, but it didn't delay his journey. Things are changing at all times. Amen. That's why God said in this word, pray without ceasing. See, that prayer builds you up, amen. See, some of us, amen, we need God to continue to encourage us and we stop praying. Man, that builds you up. That motivates you. That brings about that power, glory to God. That brings about that assurance that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. I know what. I just don't know when. Glory to God. You can hinder your healing with what you're thinking in your mind. Don't nobody need to tell you how to think in your mind. For you have the mind of Christ. Once you are delivered in your mind about what God has said to you, you cannot go back and be defeated. You cannot go back and be defeated in what you thought. 